What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Shadowgun War Games video. Yes, we have finally got a release date for Shadowgun War Games. I'm going to tell you the release date later on in the video, but in this one, I have now shown you two characters, Jet and John Slade, and I'm about to show you the beast that is Revenant. Revenant is an absolutely insane character, so watch the rest of this video to find out exactly how OP he is. And I'm still giving away free beta access before the release of Shadowgun War Games. All you have to do is be subscribed, hit a like on the video, drop any random comment below, and the first 50 people I will be picking to receive a free beta code. So without further ado, let's check out Revenant. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, do no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, dog. No. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, dog. No. When it's over, I press for wine, dog. No. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Hello, and welcome to a Shadowgun Wargames hero and veil, featuring Revenant. A member of an enslaved alien race, Revenant had to exchange a part of his soul in order to care for what he holds dear. This resilient cyborg full of rage and regret is now one of the most terrifying contestants Wargames has to offer. First say hello to Revenant's little friend, the Ravager machine gun. With its huge magazine size and decent rate of fire, it's an excellent tool for keeping your enemies at bay. Just shower your opponent's position with bullets while your teammates attack their flank or steal the flag. If you quickly need to dispatch a single opponent, the Zealot Kinetic Repeater is your go-to weapon. It might not pack a punch on par with the Ravager. However, thanks to its quick rate of fire, it truly shines when you find yourself facing a wounded opponent in close quarters combat. Revenant's Roar is best to be used against multiple targets. He sends a loud sonic roar in a 90 degree cone, slowing and disorienting all enemies hit. Once you land the ability, it will be really hard for your opponent to run away or to move at all. The best time to activate Revenant's inner rage is when things go from bad to worse. When activated, Revenant becomes bigger, faster and tougher. That way, if you find yourself outnumbered, you can still buy enough time for your team to make their way to you or even slaughter the opponents yourself. Out of all the heroes participating in war games, Revenant has the toughest skin. His sheer size draws in enemy fire, while his high health allows him to survive long enough for your teammates to flank and dispatch the opposing team, making him the ideal candidate for your team's front line. In exchange for his toughness, Revenant has the slowest movement speed. But if you find yourself in need of quickly covering a short distance, Inner Rage's speed boost will help you to safely reach your opponent's position and unleash hell. Team, drop the flag. Revenant is ready to help you to become a War Games champion once the game is released. If you want to play the game as soon as possible, visit ShadowgunWarGames.com. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield. Okay guys, so Revenant. Revenant is basically the tank of Shadowgun War Games. He is an absolute beast. I've played him quite a lot. He would probably be my third ranked player. I don't think he's the best player. I still think Jet is definitely the best player. Uh, but Revenant's amazing. A bit of background. He's a member of uh, an enslaved alien race. Uh, he had an exchange. He had to exchange part of his soul in order to care for what he holds dear. Uh, he's basically a resilient cyborg full of rage and regret. Is now one of the most terrifying contestants in war games has to offer. So, again, he is a beast. He is surprisingly good against Sara because obviously Sara um, has the rockets and he can just tank. So the first weapon he has is um, the Ravager LMG, which is basically like a huge. Uh, big LMG. It's got a massive magazine so you can just shoot and shoot and shoot for ages with it And it's really good against Sarah's bubble shield once she puts that out um, His secondary can quickly switch to is actually pretty good It's probably one of the weakest SMGs actually in the game. It's called a Zelot SMG um, It's not too bad. It's good for when you need to swap and like t uh, kill an enemy once it's already on like lower damage So he's got two skills same as all the other contestants. Um, the first one is raw uh, Which basically when he uses it around enemies it basically um, creates like a 90 degree sort of arc in front of him 
um, and it basically slows down and like dazes enemies around him when he uses it so he can use that and then quickly finish him off which is really good and then he's also got inner rage now inner rage is amazing it basically increases his movement speed and it reduces the damage dealt and received so in my opinion, he is probably one of the best, like, again, I he's not as good as, like, Jet, who can run around really fast, because you can just, with Jet, his secondary shotgun can take out Revenant very easily, but uh, Revenant is still a really good tank player, if that's what you play in these sort of games. Um, but anyway, I'll let you guys watch the gameplay. Let me know what you think. Remember, I'm still giving away beta keys. All you have to do is hit a like on the video, be subscribed, drop any random comment below. The first 50 people I will pick to win some free beta access before the release date. And I forgot to mention, the release date is coming on the 12th of February. So you're welcome, guys. 12 days and this game will be out. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>